Hey guys, it's your girl Secret D. I am running out. I guess you could call it lunch. I don't really take lunch breaks because I actually like my job. So I usually just, if I have something to eat, chill out at my desk or whatever. But today my child requested donuts like two weeks ago. <laughs> and I'm like, let me get them. So I'm ready to go do that. Either way, hold on, hold on, hold on. The sun be sunning, man. All right, it's it's not checking for us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, either way, here we are. So, I just saw a post on Instagram. So, we're going to talk about it real quick because I'm not going to be in this car mad long. I'm going to go pick up the donuts I ordered in advance. And I got me some coffee because, Either way, um... Here's a question. At what age is potential not acceptable when dating? Okay? So, here's the thing. Like, when you're younger and you're dating and, you know, you meet up with somebody, you're in high school, you're in college, you're just out of college. It's kind of like you're trying to find your footing. You're not established. You don't really know what you're going to do. I mean, sometimes right out of college, some people will jump into careers because focus, right? But we're, we're going to say that at least 25, under 25, you can have potential, right? You can, you know, still not know what you're doing in life. You can still not be making your top potential salary, you know, your home, your apartment, whatever. Still, still making it there, you know what I mean? At one age, is it unacceptable for you to date potential? And I know this is going to vary for everyone. And is it an age per se? Like, is it like a life thing? So, for instance, is it like, oh, if you're over 35, you need to have your shit together? Or is it if you have a kid, you need to have your shit together? Because you can be 30 with a kid and I guess have your shit together I don't know whatever your requirements are or you can be 35 with no kids and still be trying to figure it out and some people might think that's okay because you only have to worry about yourself so is there a specific a specific age that you guys think that um potential needs to be met right or at least stepped on or something like okay now I'm going to cut that there and let that go on social media. But this is why I asked, right? So I saw a post on Instagram and it said that at this age, I'm not dating potential anymore. You need to be whatever the word was. It was a made up word. I think it was supposed to be funny. It was kind of funny. But basically, I feel like they feel like you need to have your shit together. And when I say potential, I don't mean behavior because that's a whole nother conversation okay i'm not talking about potential as a human being how you're gonna treat me how you're gonna date me i'm not talking about that because that shit needs to be period like when you're dating you need to know how to treat a person male woman whatever it's not gender specific so potential as a partner I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about life potential, right? So we figure when we watch these dating shows, we see these dating shows, and people usually want people that make a certain amount of money, right? But let's say somebody is 35, and they just, 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 just decided to change careers, and so they are at entry level in their new career, and so they're not making the salary that you think you can be uh, provided for with, right? Is that okay for you? Is that okay because they're 35 or is it not okay because they're 35? If they were 30, would it make a difference? If they were 40, would it make a difference? And personally, I feel like it depends on the person's life, right? So if you have responsibilities, then you need to have your shit together. Otherwise, I can't date you. So if you have rent, you have a mortgage, you have things like that going on. I need you to have your shit together because I don't want no struggles. I don't want no struggle love. I don't need you talking about 
you don't know how you're going to pay the rent. I don't need you crying and complaining that you got to pay child support. And so all your money is tied up. I don't need that. So for me, it's not an age. It's a situation. And then also, there's a flip side where I feel like at a certain age, you should be, you should be in a certain place. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't still be trying to find yourself. You shouldn't still be, like, you should have your shit together to a certain extent at a certain age. So, it's it's so many things. I feel like it's it's not black and white. A lot of people are like, oh, by 40, you need to do this. Or by 35, you need to be do this. But you know what? It is what it is. Shit happens. Life happens. So, I'm not expecting everybody to be at the same place at a specific age number. But, I expect you to be you know adulting as an adult depending on your life circumstance and i feel like it's important to give people grace but just because i give you grace don't mean i'm gonna date you so that's the other flip side of it i can understand your situation and also not want to date you because of it so y'all let me know how y'all feel about it i'm pulling up to dd for dd i guess no and um and that's it bye